Have you ever pondered about the nocturnal routines of the characters in the sumptuous world of Bridgerton? What kind of beds did they nestle into after a long day of garden strolls and grand balls? In the Regency era, the bed and mattress landscape was a far cry from the plush memory foam or springy inner spring mattresses we're accustomed to today. Let's embark on a journey through time to discover the sleeping arrangements of our beloved Bridgerton characters. First up, we have the humble feather bed, a bed filled to the brim with goose feathers, offering a soft, insulating sleep surface. Imagine sinking into a giant, fluffy pillow after a day of Regency drama. Next, we have the rope bedstead. The base of these beds was a woven rope structure, offering a slight bounce and breathability. Picture a more luxurious, grounded version of a hammock. Then, we have the grand four-poster bed, an iconic symbol of luxury and status. The towering posts draped with heavy curtains provided warmth, privacy and protection from bothersome mosquitoes. Some of the wealthier individuals might have enjoyed mattresses, albeit not like the ones we know today. These were layers of straw, wool or horsehair encased in ticking, placed atop the feather beds for added comfort and support. But what about the little details that made sleep in the Bridgerton era unique? Linen sheets were a popular choice, known for their breathability and coolness, ideal for those balmy summer nights. Before the invention of hot water bottles, wealthy households used metal pans filled with hot coals to warm their beds before sleep, a testament to the lengths they went to for a cozy slumber. And of course, we mustn't forget the quintessential chamber pot, a necessary if not glamorous nighttime companion. So there you have it, a glimpse into the sleeping habits of the characters we so adore in Bridgerton. While their sleep experience might differ from ours, the pursuit of comfort and a good night's sleep remains a timeless endeavor. Pleasant dreams, dear listeners.